5 seconds to go. Start the appellant and the respondents are plaintiff and defendants number 1, 2 and 3 respectively in the suit presented in the court of subordinate judge Varanasi. The plaintiff in the suit claimed for the reliefs of directing the defendants to execute a fresh sale deed with regard to the suit property in pursuance of an agreement for sale dated 27th February 2006 on or before the date that may be fixed by the court and failing which execution of the sale deed by the court. She also prayed for grant of permanent injunction restraining the defendants from disturbing with her peaceful possession and enjoyment of the suit property. According to the plaintiff, first and second defendants jointly entered into an oral agreement on 27th February 2006 to sell the suit property for a consideration of rupees 1,83,000. It was agreed that the sale deed in pursuance of the oral agreement for sale would be executed and registered on the same day. The plaintiff purchased the stamp papers and paid the entire sale consideration to the defendants. Thereafter, the defendants put the plaintiff in possession of the suit property and also executed a sale deed in her favor. On 27th February 2006, the said sale deed was taken to the sub registrar's office. The sub registrar, however, informed that in view of an order of attachment of the suit property, the sale deed could not be registered. The plaintiff averred that she called upon the defendants to get the sale deed registered, but the defendants avoided the same by putting forth the reason that attachment in respect of the suit property was subsisting. Mr. D. R. Sharma, learned counsel for the respondents, however, strenuously urged that 1911 Act is a complete code by itself and is a special law and therefore any dispute regarding the registration including the refusal to register by any party is covered by the provisions of that act and the remedy can be worked out under it only. He referred to section 71 to 77 of the act and submitted that refusal to register a document by a party is exhaustively dealt with by the said provisions and the provisions of the specific relief act 1963 can not be and should not be invoked in a case of failure to register a document which is complete in other respects except for want of registration. Learned counsel for the respondents submitted that the defendants refused to admit execution of the said document before the concerned sub registrar because of the fraud played by the appellant in as much as instead of writing an agreement to sell, she got executed a full fledged sale deed contrary to the agreement and understanding. The defendants accordingly walked out of the office of sub registrar without admitting the execution of the sale deed and under these circumstances the only remedy available to the appellant was to get an endorsement and then file an application before the registrar under section 73 of the 1911 Act. Stop.